After Effects Tutorial. Hey guys, Ricky here with MotionBucks.com and today we got a pretty easy one that looks really cool. We're going to use some ball particles to come together and create our logo. So let's just jump right into this one. Let's start by creating a new composition and we can just call it ball particles. And 10 seconds is good enough and background color can be white. Now first let's create our background. So let's go ahead and right click new solid. Let's name it background. And color doesn't matter. Go ahead and click on OK. And with this solid highlighted, let's go over here and type in gradient ramp. Double click on that. And now once we're here, let's make this ramp shape radial. So now it's doing the gradient in a circular shape. Let's go ahead and bring that down here, just like that. And I'm going to leave the black there. Let's go to this white. And I'm going to make it green because I'm going to do a cool alien thing. That's good. And let's make the black part bigger. So what we want to do is, you can barely see it here, but see this is the other part of our gradient ramp. So if we bring this further away, it looks more like that. So that's pretty cool. So there's our background. I like it. Now let's go ahead and close out of this here, and let's go ahead and bring in our logo. So I'm going to double click right here, and let's bring our logo into our composition on top of background. I found this cool looking alien head logo. I think it's pretty neat. I'm going to go ahead and scale it down just a little bit. It's kind of bigger than I'd like. Let's say right about like that. And you know what we got to do now. Let's go ahead and right click this, pre-compose, and let's type in logo goes here. And we can go ahead and click on move all attributes into the new composition and click on OK. Now let's just do some cool stuff to this logo and then reverse it. And this will be our final product here that we're looking at now. So with our logo composition to highlight, let's go over here and type in something called CC ball action. And let's double click on that. And it turns our logo into a bunch of small balls. And if you go over here to scatter and turn this up, you'll see it scatters these balls around. So that's pretty cool looking. So what we're going to do is have it scattered and then come together to create our logo. Simple enough, right? So I'm going to start with the scatter being at 100. Let's just go with a solid number. Not too crazy. And let's go ahead and make our grid spacing a little smaller. I'm going to put three right there. Makes our balls look smaller. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the stopwatch next to scatter to put a keyframe there. And let's go about two seconds forward. I'm going to bring this down to not all the way to zero. We don't want to do that. But let's put it at like two. So you can kind of tell what our logo is going to be, but it's not all the way put together. So that's cool. So what I want is kind of like a pulsing action. So it's going to come together. And then I want it to go back apart, but not all the way. So let's go about three seconds to turn that scatter back up, but not back to 100. Let's do 40. So it comes in, goes back out, and let's have it come back in for the final time. And I'm going to go maybe a little past four seconds here. And let's make that scatter one. Bring it as close together as we can. So now we've got it shrinking, growing, shrinking back down. But I want it to look smoother than that. So let's go ahead and click on Logo Goes Here. Let's press U on our keyboard. And here's our keyframes. Let's highlight all of these. And press F9 on our keyboard for an easy ease. And that'll make it a little smoother. Now it'll go, it'll kind of ease into each of those positions, not bad. So let's make this even more customized. With all these highlighted, press right here to go to your speed graph. Now we're at our speed graph. Let's mess with these keyframes a little bit, the speeds at which our motion comes to these keyframes. So I like what I want to do, I'm going to take the second keyframe here, which is where it all gets together. I want it to kind of get close and stay there for a little bit longer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, this highlighted, bring this like this. And same for the beginning. I kind of want it to be still in the beginning. So what this means, it's going slow at first, then woof, goes into that position, and it comes back out. So let's do it again with this one. So now it's going to stay this way for a bit, go fast through that, stay that way for a bit, go fast back up. Then finally, I want it to kind of stay that big for a while before we finally reveal. So let's bring that out even further. Let's do something like that. Let's check it out. All right, not bad. I like the way that looks. It's going to make a lot more sense once we rotate this whole thing. You'll see. So cool. Let's get out of our speed graph. Let's go back to our beginning of our timeline. And let's go ahead and change rotation axis to Y. 
And that way you'll, you can see you can spin it around on its y-axis. That's pretty neat. That makes a big difference. So let's click the stopwatch next to rotation. And let's go to about five seconds. So a little bit past where we ended our movement. So once this comes together, it'll still be rotating a little bit. I like that idea. And we want it to end facing this direction. So let's make sure we do full rotations. So for this first number here, I'll make that negative three. So it'll spin three times while this is all going on. Let's check that out. Let's click on our logos here, press U again, U again. And here are the keyframes for our rotation. Let's press F9 to make those smoother as well. And then also with those highlighted, let's edit that graph again. And I'm going to just do what we did last time. Let's make that speed in the beginning. I mean in the middle. So slow in the beginning, fast in the middle. So it'll go slow, spin, and then slow itself down. I like that. Let's check it out. That looks a lot cooler when it's spinning. Yep, and it goes faster in the middle. Ooh, and then it comes to a settled stop. I love it. So let's make these particles just look a little cooler. This is pretty easy. Next, go ahead and go back to the video that you're currently watching right now. Go ahead and click on the like button, and then you want to click on the subscribe button. Now, once you've done that, scroll down and go ahead and add a cool comment. This is the coolest video I have ever seen in my entire life of living on this planet we call Earth. Something like that. Go ahead and click on comment. Make sure we're highlighted there. And let's just type in the word glow. And let's double click on glow. And boom, already looks a lot cooler. So what I wanted to do is we want to come to a stop here. And then we somehow need to turn this particle looking version of our logo into our actual logo. So to make this a cool, smoother transition, I want this thing to kind of glow really bright. And then when that glow dissipates, boom, it's our logo. So I'm going to bring another glow to here. Let's collapse this, double click on glow again. Now you got glow too. And for this glow based on, let's make it alpha channel. All right, now we got color A is white. Let's make it color B white as well. Now this whole thing's glowing so much you can't even see it, okay? So right whenever it comes to a stop here, that's when I want this glow to start turning up. So let's go to our glow intensity, hit the stop, let's make that a zero, okay? So right now that glow is not happening. And then let's make that glow turn all the way up while it's still rotating. So let's go from zero to five. How's that look? See, there we go. I want to slow it down a little bit. That goes real bright real quick. So let's make this not a five. Here, let me press on U so I can see this stuff. So let's not make that a five yet. Let's bring it forward a little bit here. I'm going to right click this, go to edit value, make that one. So it just goes from zero to one right there. So the glow slowly comes in. Cool. And then last but not least, to make this thing really seem like it's glowing towards you in your face, we're going to do one more effect. And this is going to be called CC Radial Fast Blur. Let's just type in radial. There it is, CC Radial Fast Blur. Double click on that. Okay, so that makes it kind of blur, but it looks like it's coming out, like light's coming out at you. Pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and come right when this thing's starting to glow up and turn white. Let's go ahead and hit a stopwatch next to amount let's make that a zero and then let's go forward about this far let's turn that up whoa almost to a point where it's blinding you yeah just like that pretty cool so now we got it going coming together our second glow kicks in and then once that's almost all the way white it glows even harder like that that's pretty sick so how are we gonna make this turn into our actual logo let's go ahead and I'll close out of this, and I'm going to duplicate logo goes here. Then I'm going to press F3 and get rid of all these effects. Delete ball action, delete glow, delete glow 2, and delete radial fast blur. There's a logo right there. So let's time this right, okay? Right when that glow comes up and it's at its brightest, I'm going to take the opacity of this top logo, and let's turn it to 0. And within a little bit of time, let's make this go back, go right up to 100. So now it's gonna go really bright and our logo pops up, pretty cool. You see what I'm going with here. So the last thing I'm gonna do is make that glow behind it disappear. 
So let's go to our logo goes here, the bottom one, with all the effects on it. And let's just line up right with this. And let's do transparency, but backwards. The opacity the other way. So let's press on T. Make the stopwatch at 100%. And in this short amount of time, that background, the logo that's behind us with all the effects on it will go to zero opacity. So it comes bright. Our logo pops up, and that one behind disappears. Pretty cool. So we're pretty much done. One thing I like to do, just so our logo doesn't look like it's sitting there static, once our logo comes into view, we can just start right here. Let's go ahead and go to our scale. Hit the stopwatch, and let's say for the next two seconds, it kind of zooms away from you. Just bring it down like that. So let's check out our final product. It's going to pop in and kind of zoom away. It's almost like it kind of got blown back a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And I want it to immediately start going backwards. So I'm not going to easy ease this keyframe, but we are going to end it with the easy ease. So let's go ahead and just click on this and press F9. So that eases into place. Maybe make it last a little longer. So that float back goes a little longer. So there you have it. That one's really easy to make and actually is a very cool animation. So go ahead and try that out. Play around with it a little bit. One thing I forgot to mention, for example, which is pretty cool looking. Let's go back to this. Let me press F3. Twist property is pretty cool. You can mess with ball size, grid spacing, all that stuff, obviously. But just check this out. I want you to see this because this might give you some ideas. When it's kind of close together, watch me do this twist here. You know, if I go around enough, let's change that to Y axis. How about eight twists? Watch. When it comes together, look at that. See, that's got kind of like a cyclone y look. So with that, you can create some cool looking stuff as well. So just have some fun. And so you can come up with great job, guys. Keep up the hard work. And I'll see you in the next video. This has been Ricky with MotionBucks.com. Now, if you would like to learn how to make money creating these animations, then just check out my website, MotionBucks.com. Not only will I show you how to make more animations like we just did, but I'll also teach you how to sell these templates online. You can actually start getting paid for your motion graphics skills. I've got hours upon hours of tutorials ranging from complete beginners to advanced. You can start today for free. That's motionbucks.com. That's right. There's no referral link, no coupon code. Just go to motionbucks.com or click the link in the description and start today for free. I'll see you there.